The dilemma of the sexless relationship is a tale as old as time. It'd be great if sex was the romanticized version we see in movies, but that often doesn't accurately reflect reality. In fact, you may not even have an active sex life anymore. Despite being in a committed relationship, you will go through phases in your sex life where you may have less sex or may just put your sex life on pause temporarily. This can be healthy if it's a mutual decision. However, if you're in a relationship where your sexual needs aren't being met and there isn't room for compromise, this can cause some side effects in all areas of your life. Here are some signs your sex-starved relationship may be hurting you. Your confidence has taken a hit. If your partner is always sneaking a quick kiss or telling you how sexy you are, you might feel like a god or goddess. But if your relationship is entirely devoid of sex, you're naturally going to feel less sexually attractive and desirable, which could cause you to feel less confident overall. This could manifest in the form of negative self-talk and intrusive thoughts that can severely diminish your self-esteem. If you notice that your confidence has taken a hit, it may be time to talk to your partner about the insecurities you're having over the lack of sex in your relationship. Being open and honest about your feelings could help revitalize your relationship and potentially help revive your sex life. Remember, be kind to yourself. Your value isn't measured by your sex life or lack thereof. You're always of value when you learn to value yourself. Is the grass greener? Okay, go with me on this. If you don't have food at home, what happens? Yep, Uber Eats happens, or you go out to eat. Well, if you're not having sex at home, Naturally, you might start to wonder if something or someone else can fulfill those needs. Unfortunately, that is not common. As a matter of fact, several studies have referenced a lack of sex as a risk factor for cheating in a committed relationship. For example, Michelle Davis, LCSW relationship therapist and expert, noted that at least one in three couples struggle with issues in their sex life, which she refers to as the sexual desire gap. Davis explains how couples will even feel tempted to cheat on one another out of revenge, specifically to get back at the partner who is withholding sex. Lack of sex in a relationship is never an excuse to cheat. We also wanna mention that lack of sex also doesn't mean you will 100% cheat. But if it's time, it's always better to break things off with your current partner before you decide to get intimate with someone else. Resentment towards your partner. Resentment towards your partner can creep up in sneaky ways, like snapping at your partner over the tiniest thing. That thing may not even be related to your sex life, but deep down, you're angry and feeling rejected. This is called projection and usually happens when you're not addressing the root cause. In this case, that would be the lack of intimacy. Resentment can be counterproductive since they may not understand where your frustration is stemming from. They may think you're really angry that they put the juice on the wrong shelf. As we said earlier, talking about the issues openly with your partner is usually the best solution. But if you've addressed the issue and nothing is changing, it may be time to reevaluate your relationship. You're feeling envious. Do you find yourself constantly comparing your sex life to others? Do you feel consumed by feelings of jealousy or anger anytime you see or hear stories about other people being affectionate? If that's the case, you might be feeling envious because you're unfulfilled by your sex life. Seeing other relationships that seem happy on the outside can be a painful reminder of that. Even if someone else's sex life appears perfect, what you perceive doesn't necessarily reflect reality. Everyone goes through issues in their sex life and relationships, even if you don't see it. Envy is a silent killer who can whisper easy to believe lies to you. There are millions and billions of people. There will always be someone better and someone worse in everything. Instead of comparing, Talk to your partner or a mental health professional to help figure out how you can fix the issues that are stopping you from having a fulfilling sex life with your partner. Depression or lack of motivation? Have you lost interest in things you used to enjoy doing? Have you noticed intense and sudden mood changes? If you answered yes to one or both of these questions, then this might signify the lack of sex is impacting your mental health. Once you do this, you can effectively address the issue with your partner and express your feelings. You should communicate to your partner how a lack of sex in the relationship has impacted you. According to Dr. Dana McNeil, it's crucial for couples to acknowledge issues around sex or lack thereof. She goes on to say, many partners innocently enough try to minimize the problem or dismiss the issue because they don't know how to handle it or are embarrassed. Be vulnerable, be honest, be brave. It can be so difficult to open up about this, but if your partner isn't willing to empathize with you or even listen to your concerns, then it's time to move on. 
Your partner should be receptive and open to listening to your concerns at the very least, which is imperative to a functional and healthy relationship. Did you relate to any of these signs? If so, what do you plan to do next? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.